Hi there, we're back looking at another paper one, past paper question. There it is on the screen. Analyze the possible impact of the changes in these data, GDP and exchange rate on the profitability of the business, nine marks. Well, I'll show you what the data was in a few seconds, but firstly, let's just take a look at that question. Make sure we know what the examiner is looking for. And this question is clearly about two parts of uh, the economic environment, economic data that we need to be able to interpret GDP or economic growth and exchange rates, an examiner favorite. And here our argument or arguments need to get to uh, the potential impact of those changes on the profitability of the business. And we will tell us something about the business. Well, we need to focus on the changes and it talks about the possible impact. It doesn't say benefits or costs. So the impact could be positive or negative. We'll need to work through the data to see what we think the impact is likely to be. And also we definitely need to provide the examiner with two parts to our response here because it talks about analyze the impact of the changes. So it's clear that the examiner is wanting you to consider the impact of uh, independently GDP changes and exchange rates. So that's how we'll structure our response to this question. Well, let's just quickly remind ourselves as the kind of information that uh, we get given here for this particular uh, case study, this question. We were told about a case study business. We, we don't know what it makes, but we're told that it does make something and sells its products in country X. And importantly, country X's currency is the peso. We're also told that this business, this manufacturing business, imports raw materials from the US and therefore presumably pays uh, in peso uh, to pay in dollars. So it pays for its raw materials in US dollars. And we were given some information for 2019 and 2020. We were given an index number, an index of GDP. So we need to interpret the index data uh, and also the value of the peso in terms of US dollars. So an exchange rate. So the index of GDP and the exchange rate. So let's just have a quick look at that data before we dive into uh, a suggested response and how you might have structured this question. Let's deal with the index first. Uh, index numbers and examiner favorites. It shows effectively the percentage change from a base period. In this case, let's say the base is 2019, 200. What has happened in 2020? Well, the index number has gone up by 10, which is a 5% increase. And that suggests that therefore uh, GDP has grown by 5% in 2020 compared with 2019. So that suggests increased demand for uh, products in country X. So we could potentially explain how that might impact profit. Dealing with the exchange rate, we're told that the peso in terms of US dollars has appreciated or strengthened. It's gone up from $1 to $1.10, which even I can work out is a 10% increase, a 10% appreciation or strengthening of the peso compared with the dollar. Now we know from our changes in the exchange rate that a stronger exchange rate should mean uh, imports are cheaper. Remember, for example, stronger pound imports cheaper, exports dearer. In this case, stronger peso imports cheaper. Therefore, the cost of raw materials bought in from the US should be around about 10% cheaper on average. With that in mind, we've now got enough information to be able to respond to the question. So again, you may want to, uh, as always with these videos, you may want to pause the video and maybe have a think about how you might develop your response to both the GDP and the exchange rate change. And uh, when you're ready, join with me now as I just take you through my effort at responding to this question. And I'm dealing first with the GDP change. So don't forget nine marks, so no evaluation. So we're going to use our PCAN approach here. Our first sentence sets the point up. There's no need to do any application or analysis. It just sets the examiner up. So the demand indicates a growth in GDP in country X, which may result in higher demand for the business, leading to greater sales and higher profitability. So I want you to explain how that works. But my point is stated. I now go on to explain how and why that might happen. So the growth in the index of GDP suggests a 5% increase in economic growth, which should lead to an increase in demand 
or around the same growth, assuming that demand is linked to changes in GDP. Higher demand may allow the business to charge a higher price and therefore earn a higher gross profit margin. Alternatively, it may be able to keep selling prices the same and then benefit from higher sales volumes in order to increase profits. So both of those two pieces, a little piece of analysis there, explain how that to improve demand, either through a, a, a better selling price or to selling more units, should enable it to improve profits. And what I've done there is just highlighted in red where I drew a little bit of application from the table. So I did a 5% increase in economic growth using the index data from the table. Well, that's GDP. And then I wanted to quickly go on to explain how a change in the exchange rate might impact on profitability. So let's have a look at that one. Here's my point. The data suggests an appreciation of the peso compared with the dollar, which should help reduce the unit costs of imported raw materials and improve profit margins. That's my point. I just want to explain to the examiner uh, that particular line of analysis, but don't forget with some applications. So here we go, a bit of applications to start with. The peso is shown to strengthen by 10 cents or 10% which will make imported raw materials bought in US dollars cheaper for the business. Consequently, so we're starting to build some analysis now, the unit cost of production by the business should be lower, although this will depend, of course, on how much imported materials are included in each product. If the selling price of a product affected is not changed, this re should result in a higher profit margin on each product sold, thereby improving profitability. And again, let's just quickly highlight there in red where we've just drawn from the case study we were given a mini calculation. So in fact, there's two parts that aren't there. I've said it's increased or strengthened by 10 cents from $1 to $1.10. And then I've then done a quick percentage change, 10%. And that shows my application. There we go. I reckon that response would meet the demands of that nine mark question. Uh, what do you think? Let me know in the comments box.